Dr. Magath, last count, Corla. Um, Minister, when we actually cast our mind back, uh, we never, we didn't even anticipate that we'd have a vaccine until uh, the end of this year. And when we look at that, actually 90% of our population is vaccinated. You mentioned there too that you expect the PUP payments to fall below 100,000 for the first time next week. So perhaps you could uh, update the House on the breakdown of the fall in the number of persons in receipt uh, of the PUP since its peak in May last year by county, and if you make a statement on that. Um, thank you, Deputy, for raising this issue. And as you are aware, the pandemic unemployment payment is an income support provided for employees and the self-employed who lost employment as a direct con consequence of the public health restrictions introduced in March 2020 to address the adverse health outcomes from the COVID-19 pandemic. Over 870,000 workers have received a PUP payment over the intervening period. The number in receipt of the payment peaked in May 2020, when the number of people in receipt of PUP stood at over 605,600 persons. The scheme closed for new applications on the 7th of July, and currently just over 101,400 individuals remain in payment on the scheme this week, representing an 83% decrease compared to the peak. During, the 2020, during 2020, the number of people in receipt of PUP dropped from June, uh, once restrictions eased and as people returned to their work, uh, to around 206,000 in payment by the end of September. Experience from 2020 showed that about 400,000 people closed their PUP claim once the economy partially reopened. And this is clear evidence that the vast majority of people returned to their employment once it was available to them. The number in receipt of PUP rose again when restrictions were introduced at the year end, reaching a new high in early February 2021 when 481,000 were in receipt of payment. The number in payment has decreased every week since February the 9th, 2021, with some 380,000 individuals leaving the scheme again demonstrating that people are returning to employment as it becomes available. Detailed statistics as requested by the Deputy showing the figures at their peak by county and making a comparison to the number in payment this week form part of this reply and are provided in a table uh, for the record of the House. And Dublin in May 2020 had 174,939 uh, and this week, there's 38,513 on the PUP. That's a 78% increase. Minister. So you have every county deputy on that yes, list. That full comprehensive reply. Um, and thanks, even though it is, it's said, but it can't be said enough, thanks to the officials and the staff of your department for responding with such uh, flexibility and agility as each and every crisis phase of the pandemic demanded and how they ensured that people got money in their pocket really quickly. That was so reassuring. I think you've also helped kind of uh, put a lie to the notion that there, are a lot, there were a lot of people scamming the system so that once their jobs became available, there is huge evidence to show that people went back to work as soon as their, their employment became available again. Mm. Have we any figures, because you were talking earlier about um, people returning to home countries. Um, and not returning here. Have we any statistics on that and around, uh, was there any proportion of those continuing to claim while they, were, while they had returned to their home countries? And have we any indication of whether they intend uh, to come back? Because gaps have opened up somewhere uh, in the market and in the employment market. Just if you have any data on that. Minister. Um, Gormaygut, uh, no, Deputy, I don't actually have figures as to how many have uh, returned to their own their own countries. Uh, but uh, I do know that I think I think off the top of my head, there's a, you know there's a huge number of people haven't gone back to their own sectors. They've gone to, to to do other jobs, and that's also a reason why there are some sectors that are finding it difficult. I know to to, to recruit uh, to recruit staff uh, because they've moved on and they've moved into other areas. Uh, uh, where they have taken up uh, jobs. I, I can get you the figures on that. I think it's something like around 40% that have come back, have gone to different jobs, not, not, the, not their original jobs. But I, I just checked that percentage. I'm 100% sure mm -hmm. it's off the top of my head. And I, I just want to thank you for your uh, recognition of the, the, the work that the staff and social protection did during what was a very difficult time. And, and just to give you some pig, figures on that, Almost 9 billion has been paid out on PUP. Over 27 million payments have been issued. 
So it was an unprecedented support uh, that the uh, government did provide at a time when it was needed and it was the right thing to do. So just, just to thank the staff again. Thanks, Minister, I just want to reinforce that message to your staff um, and in the offices right throughout the country. Um, yeah, I think what this highlighted was, I don't know, uh, I'd be very interested in that data, uh, Minister, that you have of those people, if we can get the granular breakdown of that, I'd welcome it, of those people who returned to work but didn't return to their previous occupation. And I think hospitality, certainly anecdotally, uh, the story around Dublin and in my constituency in Dublin South West, is that yes, a good proportion of staff return to hospitality, to pubs, to restaurants, but actually quite a number of them, because of the uncertainty right through um, uh, the layoff period and the continued uncertainty in relation to continuous lockdowns, some people decided, look, I've had enough of hospitality. Um, I can't be certain of what the future holds here. Um, I need certainty in relation to my profession, in relation to career progression, and in relation to my income. What steps do you think, Minister, we can take, uh, can we take um, to offset that? Because those people are clearly lost to hospitality and that is manifesting in itself. As I said, in restaurants where tables appear empty and if you were a casual observer, you think, oh, that restaurant isn't busy. But when you kind of delve into it, you realise that the reason that the tables aren't occupied is that the kitchen doesn't have the capacity to actually serve those tables. Um, this is an issue as tourism is going to return to the country as well. Um, just what plans has the government in, in place to try and deal with that? Thanks, Minister. Uh, yeah, well, uh, there are, uh, through Pathways to Work, uh, a number of measures there to get people into new jobs. But the most important thing they have to do, they have to uh, reskill. Uh, and uh, there has to be training opportunities and that's why my focus together with Minister Harris is making sure that uh, people have the skills and the confidence to take on new roles. We're also going to start having employment and recruitment fairs around the country to match job seekers with job opportunities that are arising. And, uh, as, as public health restrictions are easing, my department is starting to ramp up our engagement with job seekers. Uh, we contacted all PUP recipients by phone, arising from that process a number of webinars uh, around uh, uh, um, employment supports were held. Uh, so you're going to see more of that in the coming weeks and months ahead. And it was encouraging to see that the number on the live register fall to around uh, just below 170,000 this week, uh, I think. So um, it's, uh, those are all good signs that people want to get back to work. But the most important thing is that we give them the tools, uh, whether it's the, the financial support uh, on the back to work uh, uh, allowance or, or whether it's it's the, the skills and the training support. So those are very, very important. And just one thing to say, back in May, one of every four people on the PUP was under the age of 25. That's now down to one in 10. So that's good, that's good news you, that young people are getting back to work too. Thank you, Minister.